dear children, my son was the spring of love and life when on earth he spoke to the world of worlds. My apostle followed his life. It's not easy. You have to be lowly. You have to do yourself lowlier than others. By the help of faith, you should fill yourself with his love. No man on earth without faith is capable to experience the miraculous experience. I am with you. I make myself visible. No, uh, I mean, well, I reveal myself to you by these comings, by these words, and I decide to witness to you my love and my motherly fear. My children, do not waste your time asking questions that are never answered to you. At the end of your earthly life, the Heavenly Father will answer them to you. Always know or be aware of that God knows everything God sees and God loves. My dearest son illuminates lights. He disperses the darkness. And my motherly love that is carrying me to you is inexpressible, mysterious, but real. I express my feelings towards you, love, understanding, motherly fashion, I believe, I'm not sure about this word. From you, my apostles, I'm asking your roses of prayer that are supposed to be the leaves for the acts of love. Those are the dearest prayers to my motherly heart. I present them to my son, who was born for you. He is looking at you and he hears you. We are always close to you. That is the love that invites, that connects, that converts, that encourages, and that is fulfilling. Therefore, my apostles always love one another. And above all, love my son. That is the only way to salvation, to eternal life. That is my dearest prayer, that with the most beautiful fragrance of roses fills my heart. Pray, always pray for your shepherds, so that they may have strength to be the light of my son. Thank you. Our Lady bless everyone and all the rest of the that you grow for blessings.